Next up, we've got Game Trent Walker, uh, who will launch three new pedals at the show. You can see a lot of patch changes there. Oh, they're sort of crossing over into almost modular synth territory. Could you, could you explain what's going on? Yeah, so, well, it's, um, I guess, uh, for, for, yeah, it's kind of like taking this uh, patch, patch bay idea from modular synthesis, but uh, the main idea here is that uh, we're launching a whole uh, con like metal format, which uh, allows you to animate classic effects. So, so the form factor is the same for all three of these effects. So the first three that we're starting off with is the time-based effects, so reverb, delay, and bars. So on their own, they're pretty straightforward, high-quality stereo effects pedals yeah. that have four knobs, so the classic four-knob effect. But the additional kind of section here, it says dynamics and pitch. Yeah. So it's a very advanced, very detailed envelope follower, so it okay. tracks the strength of your playing, and the other one tracks the pitch information. So the idea here is that like when this pedal is in the, in the on state, it's just a classic four knot effect that you have set up. But once you add the modulation, the mod, you know, it's up to you to decide what happens. So for example, in this patch here, I've got the my playing dynamics opening up. The amount of effect uh, the, the effect mix, so so it responds to the pitch and level of the of the input. So here in this case, you know, it's responding to the amount to the strength of my playing. So here we have this like VU meter. So it, it, it displays the strength of my playing like this. So as soon as I cross the threshold. Getting a, we're getting a gated reverb effect right. because it's opening up the, the le, like the mix between the dry and the wet signal. Alternatively, I can switch this to be the input level. So now, as soon as I cross the, the threshold, the node will get sent into the delay uh, into the reverb uh, algorithm. So dry sound. only to louder strums. So just here you can tweak the sensitivity a bit. So this is the, the most straightforward use case, which is basically linking the playing dynamics to the amount of reverb sent. But you can do a lot of very interesting things. For example, we can do the same idea, but use the pitch tracker to do that. So here I can calibrate just by pressing this here. I can choose my center note. And now only sounds above. Absolute basic approach, but you can take this logic and come up with hundreds and hundreds of ways to use it. So, in the middle of a solo, you can recalibrate. For example, I can just quickly. That's it. So now only everything above this B, this D note is going to trigger the, the reverb. So I can go. While I'm opening up the, re the amount of reverb, I also want to make the tone darker. So here, I got the tone set up on the right setting, but I'm going to use the small, smaller knob here to say like what happens when the virtual signal gets in. So it's going to get longer but darker now. Uh, that's 
that. And then the same logic goes for the delay effective for the re for the chorus. So here again, uh, I've got a I've got a chorus -y sound, just like that. And here, the playing dynamics will start to remove the chorus. So. This, this D note, it's gonna spin, start spinning wildly out of control. So let's go here. So, I hope that, that helps you get the idea. And uh, once you come up with your unique setting, you can just leave those cables in place, and you will never knock them out of place because of the metal's design. You can literally step on it with your foot, full foot and uh, the recess design is what keeps everything in place. If you want to just return to using the basic effect, you just use the switch here. So there's lots of other details that you can find out about this. For that, I think you, uh, you should go and just uh, check out all our materials on GameChangerAudio.com. So, uh, I'm saying it's like you've got sports line inputs as well, so you yeah. can happily use it with sense and all that, you know. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So uh, there are stereo effects with line, instrument, and also Eurorack level. So you can uh, okay. put in really hot signal into it. Yeah. It also serves as a really good like uh, cross-platform effect. You can use your Euroracks and synths and all kinds of, uh, all kinds of other uh, tools to modulate these effects and to bridge the gap between your guitars and your synths and so, how much are they going to cost and when can people buy them? So, uh, starting off with these three, uh, these are, uh, so all three are going to be $2.99. Yeah. We're uh, opening up the, the pre orders for the first batches right now, so they're already available to, to order and will start shipping by the end of March. So, and then 2024. Over the course of the year, we will do everything we can to add more that types to this to this kind of uh, to the mod series. Imagine. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.